Good morning. Hi, it's me, Miss Chance. First of all, I just want to say, oh man, I'm missing you all so much. I hope that you're finding plenty of things to do at home and trying to stay busy while we're not being able to be together here at school. Um, today, I wanted to do a small lesson on patterning. And so, this is something that we do at school. And one of the centers that sometimes the children choose to go to is a light table. I know you don't have the light table at home. However, you can do patterns with anything in the household. Um, today, I'm actually gonna use a pattern tray. And of course, I have all these different jewels of different colors. And at home, you can use things like crayons or cups of different sizes or toys that are the same, or uh, but they're different sizes. Um, you can either draw them out on paper if you wanted to and let your child cut them out. They don't have to be 3D like this. They can be, it can be anything, just as long as you can make a pattern with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an A, B pattern. So first, I'm gonna take a yellow jewel and put it here yellow and then oh i think we'll go with blue today so yellow then blue Let's see if you can see that so yellow blue yellow blue yellow now help me figure out what comes next yellow blue yellow blue that's right oh you're so smart all right so blue so now we have an AB pattern, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. What would come next? Oh, that's right, yellow, you got it. Man, you guys are so smart. I don't even know why I'm showing you this. You know, you know it already. That's awesome, good for you. Okay, let's finish the first top tray. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. That's right, awesome. Okay, here we go, almost finished. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, that's right. Very nice, okay. Oh, how many do we have left? There's one, two empty, empty spots on the top tray. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Okay, one more to finish our pattern. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Awesome. So at home, you could do this, like I said, with just crayons um, if you wanted to, or if you had some toys that are similar. They need to be at least two alike, so you can make the pattern, of course, um, repeat the pattern. And then after this, what you can ask your child to do is, okay, make a pattern of your own and this doesn't have to be in a patterning tray I'm at school luckily and I have this but it can be on the table you could draw boxes on a piece of paper if you wanted them to have a specific place to put them so it can be really really simple um, it could be with numbers one two one two what comes next it could be with colors like I said um, it could be socks. It can be anything in the house that you have plenty of two of that you could make a pattern with. And then another thing um, you could do with your child is give them three or four things, many of those things, and ask them to make their own pattern. And um, then when they do it, you can help them. You know, if it's not quite right, you can say, oh, well, let's look at this. Let's check this out and make sure that this is actually a pattern. And remember, it's all a learning process. So even when it's not quite right, just use that moment to teach them what they should have done instead. So, all right, well, next time I will see you um, with a whole new lesson. I hope you have a great day. And again, I miss you all. Stay safe and stay healthy. And remember, social distancing is how we're gonna get through this. All right, I wish you all well and I love you. Miss you so much, bye.